Thank you for joining my channel so much. Uh, this is gonna be a really quick install. Actually, it won't be quick. I've been told this is not a quick install. Um, this is like the next little, little install I'm gonna do on my bike, my brand new truck. Uh, once this is done, uh, I can finally ride the thing. It's been sitting over there now for a while and I really wanna ride it. But I've been like doing all these different things to try and get it ready and all that stuff and, and now it's the final mod and then we're good to go. Cause it's a brand new bike. It's a lot of money for me anyways, a lot of money, carbon fiber, my first one. So I just wanna make sure that I did all the right things before I take it out and uh, beat the crap out of it on the trails. So without further ado, the actual unboxing install, what we're gonna do today. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh yeah, little ride wrap here. And this is gonna be, this is the, the, the really hard one. This is like the whole nine yards. So again, my autofocus is horrible. This is, uh, this is the tailored, the tailored, the tailored kit. Let's see if this, <laughs> yeah, the tailored kit. So this one is going to be uh, a pretty long time to get it on. I've been told it takes anywhere from two to three hours to get this thing on the bike. So bear with me, it might be a long video. Okay, so let's unbox the Ride Wrap tailored system here and uh, let's see what we get in the box. Let's open it up and let's do the two to three hours of, of work to get it on the bike. All right, let's open this guy up and then see what we got inside. Okay, let's see what we got here. Installation tools, check. Oh boy. Instructions, check. That's it. That's everything in the box. Oh, a DHL receipt apparently, okay. All right, so there we go. And they're all numbered, it looks like. I'll open this up so you can get a really good look at it, but looks like that. Oops. That is it. Yikes. Let's see how, mu how big this thing is. Wow. Okay, that is quite extensive. That is quite extensive. That rolls out way, way more than that too. And it starts with the, uh, where's one? I don't see one, I see two. <laughs> I see six and 13. So you're supposed to do this actually like um, by the numbers. So let's look at the instructions and let's uh, roll this back up again. And let's, uh, let's get the bike out here and I'll, also show you guys how to put the mixture together and stuff, and then we'll go from there. All right, so here's the instructions opened up, right? Kind of tells you, you know, uh, start number one, it shows you on the outside chain stay and stuff. So you're gonna link these numbers up with the, uh, the numbers on the, the screen there. And let's, these are installation tools. Let's take a quick peek inside here and see what you get with the installation tools from Ride Wrap. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. All right, so what you're getting is you're getting a lot of stuff. Looks like you got stickers that you can kind of either put underneath your, your ride wrap, put these over top, or put them on your toolbox or wherever you like, which is kind of cool. Microfiber thing, I watched some videos, I saw there was a microfiber cloth in there. Installation, uh, installation solution, and then pre-clean cleaning wipes. So this is the one where you've got to put, I think it's, I think it's 0 0.05 uh, liters into an actual uh, uh, spray container, which I do have. And then you've got a cool little vinyl ride wrap. What? Okay. You've got a really cool ride, uh, ride wrap 
a vinyl push on, like a plastic thing. Whatever this is called, that's what it is. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so what I did off, cam off uh, camera, just to make it easy, is so you need uh, at least one liter of water, and then you need 0.5 milliliters of the solution from Ride Wrap. So what I did is because this only goes at 900 milliliters, I know there's a thousand milliliters in a liter. So what I did, so I just went up basically the difference, right? So that's pretty much a liter of water there. And I measured this off and did the, uh, the 0.5 milliliters of that stuff. So if you've got a syringe or like I have kids, so I stole one of their, <laughs> one of their medicine applicators. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So that's done. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off the bike with these guys here. I'm not gonna wash the bikes, it's brand new, it hasn't been ridden yet. So I'll use the pre-installed cleaning wipes and I'll wipe the hell out of this bike. I'll take the tires off as well, you know, the rims and tires. Uh, I'm not gonna take off the chain and stuff, I just think that's a bit, a bit much. I just wanna do this, get it clean, get the tape on it, and be able to ride the bike. All right, let's go to the next step. All right, so let's get the, uh, the front tire off here. Okay, out. All right, so now I'm gonna do the, uh, the rear wheel. And let's kind of like get this thing down to the lowest the low setting here. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna take off the, the back wheel here using the new Bond Trigger thing here. So remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. Oh, almost forgot. Flip the clutch on the Shimano. And we'll pull that out. There we go. Great. And there we go. Back tire out. Okay, so using the two ride wrap cleaning wipes that are provided in the kit here, I just tear this open and it gives you one inside and there's another pouch that comes with as well. Take these out and you're gonna meticulously clean down your frame. Uh, I did a lot of cleaning just to make sure that all my protective tape went on fine without a hitch. As you'll see, it, it does take a long time, so enjoy. <laughs> So I start off with number two. I didn't use number one first because number one involves taking the chain protector off, your chain stay there. Uh, and I just didn't feel like doing it right off the hop. I thought, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it on and I'm gonna go around it. So here I am, I've got number two in my hand. The instructions, there are no real instructions. There's a really cool like uh, picture diagram that says, you know, one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to like 30, I think it was, or 28 or something. And it shows you the location, like the zone where it goes on the bike, the protection tape. But it doesn't tell you up or down or lower or left or right. It just says the number. So when you get the piece to the zone you want to be in, you got to kind of figure out how it goes on there. And that's exactly what I'm doing. But when I find out where it goes and how it's supposed to hook on, I then realize I've got to take one of these bolts off the chain protector because the, the, the protection goes underneath it. So that's exactly what I did take the bolt off on the very on the very top there and I just sort of slide the the chain protector out of the way and then I put back the uh, the protection the number two protection there and uh, I'm just kind of getting it on there as you see 
And once I get it on there, I get the position, you know, where I want it. I make sure that uh, it's really, I, the whole thing is about positioning and alignment, making sure it goes exactly where it should go. Then once I get it on there, because this is a tough one, and this is the first one I'm doing, then I use the uh, the squeegee. I get all the water out of it. I make sure that's that's good. Uh, I also go back over and I just make sure all the water is out from underneath it. And then I put the uh, the chain protector back on over top. And then I will uh, put the bolt back in and away we go. And on to number three. Moving on to number three. This is going to be the uh, the top chain stay there, just uh, on the right hand side. So you're going to spray it down with the uh, the ride the ride wrap uh, install solution, and then you're going to spray the actual piece of the, the 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 protective tape as well. And then you're just going to lay it down here. Here I'm just trying to figure out how this sucker goes on and and get the alignment done properly so that uh, I'm kind of like away from the joints, like the moving uh, parts here, and that it stays on nicely. So I'm getting it on there and with my thumbs I'm just slowly like caressing the, the protective uh, film here just to get it get the water out of it get any air bubbles and I find that you know pushing it downward right you don't want to actually like turn it yet you just want to get all that water out any of the air bubbles with that water just slowly working it with your thumbs uh, it's the best way to do it I find and then you can go back with the microfiber cloth and stuff so here we are we're getting it all done it's almost out. I'm just making sure that we're getting getting pretty good here. Uh, I'm almost to the next point. The next point would be either the, uh, the the microfiber cloth or the squeegee. So the squeegee is what I'm using here. And as you can see, almost all that water is dissipated right out. It's actually pretty easy to do. And there you go. Number three is pretty much done. We're gonna move on to the next one now. <laughs> I got two parts on. This is not easy. Like there's still, I still see air pockets in some of these places. So that's going to be fun to try and get those out. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, it's a really great idea. I just don't know how, how easy it is to do. So we will try number four, which is the opposite side of what I just did for number three. Okay, number four is going to go, basically number four is going to go in between here. Should I put that on first? Okay. go we sprayed it we're good to go okay and we'll spray the actual thing as well not really sure it's like this or go like, oh it goes like this all right Too much fluid on here, I think. It's so hard to talk while you're doing this because you want to make sure you're focused. You want to get all your energy focused on this. So number five is going to be right here, this little section here. So this is not fun. I know a lot of people have said it's not fun, but it really is not fun. Okay. So stupid. It's like it's like just playing with it, right? To make sure that you can get so it all like Go 
Who's off this glue smell too? All right, so number six is gonna be in here. It's gonna run up the top over here. Okay, spray it down. I feel like the smallest, the smallest of things you gotta like, get like, all the water air out. Okay. Okay, moving right along. All right, number seven. All right, number eight is the next one. <clears throat> Just a little guy and it's going like right in here. Number eight is uh, not there, it's in here. <laughs> All right. So, not the best for a video because I have it set up for the other side, but that's okay. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Go. I like this microfiber thing. There we go. Well, that was probably the easiest one I've done so far. <laughs> All right, awesome. Number nine, let's see where number nine goes. Number nine, bottom, and it goes across here. Number nine. Okay. All right, that one on. I don't see any air bubbles. So there we go. Beautiful. Let's move on. All right, number 10 goes above the shock, I believe. Or error. All right, let's try it out here. This fucking go here. What in the fuck? Goes up top.
that turned out all right too. Well, either I'm getting the hang of this or it's just getting better, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, what is the next one? Okay, number 11, and it's gonna be just underneath it. So, I'm assuming like this. See, these are fun. <laughs> So we are at number 12. Wow, that went on pretty darn good, actually. Way more than I thought it would. It's like painstaking. <laughs> you have to really love your bike to do this. Which I guess I do. It's brand new. I just hope the stickers don't come off. Like easy. There we go. All right. All right, on to number 13, which is like same thing as the other side, just right underneath it. So I'll grab that, get it all wet. There we go. Get her done. Get her done. All right. Yeah, see, because I did the top one way better than the other one, on the other side, this is going on. Way easier. So let's just clean all the moisture off here. There we go. Much better. Much better than the other one. So then after 13, where is 14? Okay, so just like a midway stoppage point here. So not the best, as you can see here, it's kind of going over that metal thing there, but uh, it's not a really crucial part, but anyways, I should have put this up higher, as you can see, and that should have gone over more. That was one of the first ones I did, so you're kind of learning. This was like the second one I did. Not not totally perfect, but it, it's on there. There's, you know, I, I got most of the air bubbles out, you know what I mean? But it looks pretty good so far, right? I did the... Uh, inside here as well, like the uh, the linkage. I mean, again, uh, not perfect, but, but it's on there. This one here was a weird one going inside here because it kept bubbling up, popping up, but that seems to be down there now. I don't see any air bubbles either. This part's done here, this chain stay is done too. I see a little air bubble right here. But again, in the heat too, it might just dissipate. But look at that, you can barely see it. This one came out really good though, like it perfectly ends up right here. And then this one here too. That's the linkage on that side done. There. And then this was a cool one. This one worked out really well. This, this my long chain stay here. Worked out really, really well. And then this middle one too up top, which goes from here. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a bit of a breakage point there, which is cool. And then it goes right to here. That worked out really well. So now I'm going to move on to the big boy, which should be the front here, sorry about my mess. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up my garage. <laughs> Anyways, we'll have all that done there in the front. That'll be the next part of the video. All right, so the next one we're gonna hit up is gonna be uh, number 14. Just give this a shake here. Okay. All 
right, so number 14 is the one we're looking for now. So we're gonna, again, just spray it and spray the area. There we go. And the picture shows that it's gonna be short to the high, it looks like. So let's see how we, how we do here. microfiber start the one end here and just work it you don't want to go too hard at first you don't want to move the sticker or the, the film or whatever you want to call it you can go back after you've kind of got it in there Get all the air bubbles out. And now you can go a little bit, a little bit harder. Just a lot of solution underneath this thing. Yeah, this microfiber thing is great because what it does is it just kind of like removes <clears throat> any of the the, the solution that you've put underneath it kind of so as you're really pressing on it and getting it out this thing's great like if you're gonna, if, you, if you're doing this just remind yourself to always use this thing just really helps you there we go all right moving on to the bottom part of it which i believe is number what number is that number 15. Number 15, the hardest part, well not the hardest part, one of the hardest parts is just trying to find them on the sheet. Cause you get like this huge sheet. There we go, so here's 15. Spray that down good. Put some solution where it needs to go, okay. It does take a long time to do this though. I just hope that once it's done, it does not like come unstuck or peel up or get dirt underneath it or whatever. Oh, that's weird. Some discoloration there. Still got some like air trapped in the front here. There we go. All right, so there's the tape job. 
There we go. Right here is where I keep getting a little bit of air pockets. Let's see, I'll zoom in on that. So I'm trying to get that out. I got most of it out, I think. But there you go. So that's the front top tube. I tried to make it as even as possible with that one, but it's a little hard, right? Pretty close though, pretty close. Moving along. All right, so this is gonna be another big one. This is gonna be the top tube right here. And that is number, number 16, I believe, yeah. Number 16, let's do her. Spray it down first. Top tube thing here, so let's let's line that up. All right, more of this stuff here. Pretty close to the center. This part's really difficult. You gotta make sure you're, you don't want any air pockets on the top tube at all. I can't stress how much you need to like really put the solution on the side. Like on the top tube, you really, really need to get it done. Cause it's, it's the part that's gonna really dictate if it sticks or not. Work this up, get all the water and air out. Don't go super, super, you want to press, but you don't want to press too hard. Some of the videos I see, they say press really hard, but if you press really hard and you have the, the liquid underneath it, it moves the sticker, like the film. It actually slides it. You don't want to slide it because you've already got it in a position where you want it. So now I'm doing this with my finger. I'm making sure that any of the air that was up top here is going down. Well, I'm really getting to know this bike very well. <laughs> my hands on it for like three hours. Okay. All right, I think I'm pretty close to doing that fold here. This is gonna be scary, but hey. Eh. 
think what I'll do is I'll, I'll move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So now you can kind of see what I'm doing from this angle. So I'm going to start from the middle. And I'm just going to get the film to go. And get it, get it to stick. And as I'm doing it, I'm just making sure that any air pockets that I'm getting, I'm pushing out with my thumbs. Starting from the bottom, of course, and just pushing this across. And then that last little strip here, same thing. You can see all the water just getting pushed out. And I take my trusty little plastic push router thinger. And we're just gonna put that, do it gently because you've already got the other one shut on the other side, or stuck, so you don't wanna pull that up. But you wanna make sure you get any air pockets out of this side as well. And then I'll go through with my trusty microfiber. There we go. All right, so this is number 17. This is where it's gonna get fun again. So it wants me to do the whole bottom tube down here. But to do that, I've gotta take these, these uh, off. So that'll be fun. We've got the guards off on the down tube. We're gonna spray this up. I think I might flip the bike and put it upside down. All right, so I'm doing the big boy here, number 17, it's the down tube. Underneath there, we're gonna do all that, get her done. Okay, the good thing is you can line up with the holes, with the hole patterns here, which is cool. There we go, that matches up. Let's get her all centered out here. Let's go from the middle.
All right, I'm gonna do the next one here, which is gonna be, I'm jumping ahead though, he says 28. I don't feel like picking the bike back up again and putting it back on the stand. All right, so I believe 28 is gonna go right here. So let's do this. Get that done. Again, you can line it up on the holes. Tell you what though, this uh, this freaking ride wrap is extensive. Like they thought of everything. It's pretty cool. This one should be somewhat easier to install. Just start getting all the fluid out of it here. I can't see how anybody could do this, like on a, on a used bike or a bike that wasn't brand new, like my goodness. Like I'm, I'm lucky I decided to do this with a brand new bike. I was humming and hawing, right? But it's my first carbon bike, so I just really wanted to make sure that I've got it as protected as possible, right? And I was like, I don't know if I want to do it. Maybe I'll ride it first and see. Thank God I didn't. That would not have been fun trying to do this when the bike was like dirty, even just a little bit. There we go. There we go, that just saves me having to do it again and lift the bike up and turn upside down. I jumped ahead to number 28. There we go. Pretty good, that one on pretty easy. So now we are gonna move on to a number, what is it here, number 18. We're just gonna go right in this area right here. So we'll just spray that part down. Get her all ready to rock and roll here. Okay. So you go like that, or does it go like this? I think it might go like that, yeah. So again, the microfiber one is like your friend because what it does is it allows you to kind of make it on those curves. It just kind of lets you. So much air gets trapped in this thing. Okay, let's hope that stays on. All right, what's next? I guess it's gonna go in there somewhere, so let's get her wet and let's try her out. Okay, number 19.
how it goes on. I think that's how it goes on. All right, so we're gonna do number 20, which is gonna be the back side of this. So we will wet the hell out of this thing, get her all done. All right, and then we'll grab 20. Like, I can't, I can't stress it enough. <laughs> Just spray it as much as you can. All right. We'll line her up again, three millimeters. And smell the glue. Hold on, let's do it another way. Let's do it this way. See if that works. So I line up with that. Yep, it does. I like that better. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, it lined up almost the exact same as the first time, but whatever. It's all good. It's lined up in the front, which is good. Okay, and I'll just get all the air out of it. I'm like a, an expert now, I think, as, as, I, as I keep doing it. There we go. Whew. Boy, oh boy. All right, let's see what's next. All right, so the next one here is going to be 21 and 21. It's going to be just underneath the one I just did. Okay, let's get her on. Alrighty. Looks like the fat way, fat way down. Some of the solution out of here. Okay, and I'll use the microfiber. There we go, she's on. Next up, so we are doing 23, which is right here. Let's get that done. 23, 23 and me. <laughs> All right, I'm tired. I've been doing this for a very long time. I am very looking forward to getting it done. 
That went on a little too easy. Yeah, I don't like that. That went on too easy. <laughs> Something wrong there. or anything really. Wow, that went on really well. All right, let's do, uh... all right, so I jumped ahead again, so let's do, let's do 22. It's so hard to keep, keep in mind what you're doing here sometimes, because Good God, they all, they all kind of look the same after a while. Like, there's a lot going on here. That's okay. All right, let's do this. Too close to that. I don't want that, that close. There we There we go. Now we're now we're doing good here. Next, so 22 and 23 are done. All right, so next one is 24. 24 is like, I wanna say right above the linkage, right there. That look good. I think that looks good. I could go back a bit further, but that seems to follow the line really well. It seems to follow the line really well. It seems to really, it's, it's funny when you put them on, you can kind of just feel right off the bat they're in the right spot. Like I know it didn't line up with the back like that one I just put on, but it just seemed to fit the nooks and crannies better. So I kind of would rather do that. 
26 is the matching one for this, the one I just did. All right. Yeah, that seemed to work a lot better. Well, so for this part here. All right, number 25 is gonna go right here. Okay, here we go. That was number, the fuck was that number? 26. 27. 27. All right, so there's one last piece left that I have to do. <clears throat> it's, a per, it's the part that I was supposed to do in the very beginning. So let's just get in here. I didn't want to take off the, the guard, but I have, so let's get her done. Uh, and this is the part where my mic died. My battery died on my DJI mic. So here I am. My uh, This was actually the number one thing I was supposed to do. And it became the last thing I did. 
because I, I wasn't going to take the chain stay protector off. I just didn't feel like taking all the bolts off. But as I really got to know the bike better and I took off like the whole down to protector and stuff, I'm like, screw it. I'll just take it off. Then the whole thing is completed. The whole ride wrap that I purchased will work. So here I'm getting it all on and you do have to maneuver it a bit. You have to pull it back a bit, get the air bubbles out. Uh, just getting the chain above this thing was a bit of a, a bit of a bitch. But once you get it on there, right, you just, you just kind of work around it. And uh, honestly, Ride Wrap did a great job with their measurements, their cutting. All I had to do was kind of semi-line it up, and then the rest was easy. I just went in there, really pushed with the thumbs and the fingers, just to really get it to kind of stick to where it needed to go. And, uh, you know, again, you pull it taut as well. Like, so you, you're, as you're getting the air bubbles out, you're also pulling it. Uh, it's a really weird film. Like, you can pull it, you can kind of it doesn't break it's it's not flimsy as long as your hands are wet and the items wet like the, the film's wet you don't stick to it so here i'm using the squeegee and now i'm just painstakingly pushing downward right it was always downward to get that uh to get those air bubbles out and stuff and then you push with your thumb behind it and make sure that you're really getting it getting all the air out and it, it's the squeegee's great because it pushes everything out and then that microfiber they provide awesome so that's what I would end up doing. Putting all my thumbs, then the squeegee, and then the last part was the microfiber uh, cloth, just to really go back and uh, and get all that extra fluid out of there. It really worked well. Like, the, the, like that setup, you know, once you get into it and you figure out what you're doing, you get into your groove, uh, it works really well. So here it's almost done. I'm just getting uh, any of the last kind of little pockets of air out, and uh, there's little slits. You can't really see. But maybe you can see there's a like little slits like in the film that uh, allow the, that that protecting wrap to kind of fit on there better and bend a bit more. And then the air, you could push it out through those little slits, you know, depending on where you were on the frame. So it's almost done. It took way too long to do, but I think it was well worth it. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like to put all the protection on a tailored bike. All right, well, my ride wrap is completely on the bike. It took me like two days, like not two full days, but I, I broke it up into two days because I didn't want to kill myself. It was, uh, it was a lot. Now I'm not saying ride wrap is horrible or nothing like that. I'm just saying that it is a lot. You've got to know what you're doing. You've got to be patient. You've got to make sure that like you keep going over and over and over like there's one spot you probably can't see it from the camera here, but there's one spot where there, something got on the film and I didn't see it like just like a little like dust or something and of course it's right on my truck right on the K so that's gonna drive me crazy but I can't pull it off now it's been too long because I let it sit for about 48 hours I didn't touch it I just like completely completely let it go so there we go. The bike is done. I'll take my camera off there. and I'll kind of show you what it looks like close up. But this is like uh, two days after I've had it on now. And uh, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think I did a, a, a decent job. Not like an amazing job, but a decent job. Like I think it'll do the trick. I think it'll protect my carbon fiber frame. And uh, yeah. All right. Thanks so much for watching this super long video. I know it's long. But anyone who wants to put Ride Wrap on their carbon fiber truck, the brand new Gen 6, here you go. This is what it will look like. So I'll, I'll show you in two secs here. But thanks so much for watching and like, like, subscribe, like, I don't know. Like my horrible channel, subscribe to it if you'd like, and uh, help support me on my crazy, crazy quest of getting in shape on a mountain bike. Thanks so much. Have a great day. All right, so there's a little bit of water because I flipped it upside down to put back all the, the guards here to cover the down tube and stuff. So there's, I guess, some residue water left, but that's okay. It still looks freaking awesome. As you can see there, right? Looks pretty good. Again, I'm not super talented, but I mean, I followed the directions. You know, I, I, this is a matte paint, so I made sure I bought the matte finish. See, there's a couple spots, right? Hopefully in the sun, it'll come out, but it looks pretty good, right? All that stuff is on there, so the bike hopefully will, will stay beautiful for years to come. And there's chain stays. 
pretty happy with how the top turned out. You know, like I said, here's that stupid, this is gonna bug me. You see that right there, that little white right there. That's underneath the film that I couldn't get out, but nonetheless, I think it turned out pretty darn good. Thank you for watching my channel. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Look at that, even the uh, the stickers. If you see that video where I did the Fox decals, like the uh, Kashma or whatever it's called, I can't remember, but this bike's looking pretty sick. It's looking pretty darn good. My garage is still a mess, but what are you gonna do? There we go, thanks so much everybody. See you on the trails and uh, yeah. Take care of your bikes and yourself. <laughs> Bye now.